Yeah, let's talk about his credentials, man. Yeah. He's uh, also, also known as the, the home LeVar Ball. Uh, he's a three-time straight uh, J4 champ, uh, playing with Airborne, Fresno champ. Um, one of the few teams that beat, you know, the legendary team, Raven from, from Fresno, um, owner of Phenom, uh, owner of, of Big Baller Brand. Yeah, y'all know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, the greatest, the greatest good player ever, man. All, out of all good players, he's the greatest. <laughs> but he's better, he's better known as uh, Andrew's uh, uh, father, man. What's up, Rob? <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's great to hey, hey, did we miss anything in the credentials part, man? I know, man. No, you, uh, man, you, guys know more, man. you guys know more about that than me, man. I <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Rob, we're gonna get right into it we're gonna uh address or you're gonna clarify and address uh mm -hmm. what you posted all right we're gonna do that which what you posted got it says there's 335 reactions to it, either like uh, a heart or a laughing emoji whatever there's 335 of that and 124 comments so mm -hmm. obviously a lot of people <laughs> had to shine in on exactly hit some nerves bro <laughs> You guys got a. You guys my. You guys got my uh, post up. I don't want to uh, misquote myself. You know what I mean. Well, what well, well, can well, recite it? Let, let me uh, read it for you. Okay, so it goes. Uh, great tournament host by Hova, obviously, but I got to say I'm embarrassed. AF, you know, as a retired player from the Midwest, Minnesota, to be exact. Cali mm -hmm. came to Walsall and opened a can of whoop ass on all you guys. They took wow. first, second, and third place. Uh, I hope that some of the Midwest team don't take this ass beating lightly and hopefully will train and work harder at their craft and challenge the West. This got 124 comments. Obviously, a lot of people shine in on um, with their opinion. Um, maybe you're maybe you were taking out of context. That's why you're here. Uh, go for it. Why don't you explain what you would that? You know, I mean, my whole thing was you know, after the tournament, it wasn't anything where I was putting down any of the Midwest players or anything like that, or, you know, taking anything away from the winners. Um, you know, all, all three teams from Cali, they played great, but, you know, it's just like, you know, I mean, my best analogy is like, I'm a, I'm a HVB fan. Like, you know, like if you're an NBA fan, you know, mm -hmm. like we, me here from Minnesota, I'm always somewhat rooting. Well, let's not do t NBA because the Tumble will suck, but let, let's do the NFL. You know, I'm always like, you know, no matter how many times the Viking lose, right? We're always, mm -hmm. I'm always cheering for the home team, mm -hmm. you know? So it's just kind of like, you know, so like your home team, if they don't have a shot in it, you're, you're, you're rooting for the division, the people that, you know, the Midwest, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, of course I, I'm cheering for my son's team, you know, and then, you know, when they're out of it, you know, I mean, when I go to the tournaments and stuff, I'm always watching Minnesota teams, you know, watching Creed, watching Caliber, watching Outlaws, you know, I'm watching C9. I'm watching, you know, this is, these are my home team, you know, mm -hmm. and like, you know, like, you know, when I go out to the parks, I'm watching them. I, I know who's talented. You know, you know, I see how they're practicing. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm keeping my eye on the, the pulse of among volleyball, especially here in the Twin Cities. And like when I go to terms and stuff too, I'm looking at uh, talent from other cities, from other states. You know, um, you know, I went out, I went with my son and a pickup team to to go to Michigan. You know. A little Michigan tournament, and we I went out there, and you know I I got a, you know I had the pleasure of watching Lights Out play, you know, and they're a team of cousins and brothers, and they're real tight, and you know, they're like they're they're the future of Detroit, you know, Michigan volleyball, and and I don't know if you guys know uh, Koo, uh, he used to play too and stuff, and uh, it's it's funny because we used to have a lot of battles when we were. You know, when I was playing with Airborne and stuff, and it just happened that his son was playing against my son in the finals, mm -hmm. you know. 
So it, it was just like great to see. And, you know, I love Hmong volleyball. You know, I'm passionate about it as you guys yeah. you know, are aware, but mm-hmm. I just feel like, you know, I just feel like, you know, like it's just different when somebody comes to your house right. and like punches you in the stomach, you know what I mean? And, and I just want a team from the Midwest to be like, Hey, take offense of that. It's like, if a bully is picking on you, you got to get up and punch them in the mouth. You know what I mean? And it, this is like, this is nothing against Cali. I mean, like I said, they, they're, they're like the, the, you know, Titans and the guys, they're like the top teams right now, you know? So I just kind of want like the Midwest and especially the teams from Minnesota to kind of like take some time and self-reflect on what they need to do to be better, you know, you know, and most importantly, like, what do they need to be, be great? You know, cause the thing is, is like, there's so many good, great players, you know, from the twin cities, from the Midwest. And it's just kind of like, you know, I mean, honestly, it's just straight embarrassing that Cali came here and took first, second and third, you know what I mean? And it's just kind of like, man, like have some pride, you know, especially, you know, Wasa was, you know, I was talking to a whole one. I was like, man, like this was a great tournament. Like during the, the final eight, it, it threw me back to the days when we were playing July 4th and we had that crowd, you know, cause it, it's just like, when you have that crowd and you've got that energy behind you, you know, it's just like that, that elevates everybody, you know, and, and it's such a great feeling. And, you know, I want all the players to, you know, ultimately, feel, you know, feel that feeling and, and, and see how it is. And, and like, when I tell my son, I was like, the hardest thing about HVB is, is winning, learning, learning how to win. But once you learn how to win, you know, it's going to get easier and easier and easier. And yeah. it just seems like, you know, since, you know, MBY and, and us airborne and like a lot of the great teams from the twin cities, once we, we were out of, you know, out of the picture, it just seemed like nobody picked up, you know, nobody picked up the legacy and, and, and ran with it, you know? Mm. Um, speaking of your son, I know, <clears throat> I know we highlighted him um, in our, um, our page, um, but he's, he's one, he, I, I, I guess that that's one takeaway uh, we take from it, at least, you know, from the Midwest, he's kind of the, uh, the, 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 the hope and the, the inspiration that, 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 that we feel like, oh, okay, like, we got something going here, you know, at least with, with your son, but speaking on, uh, about your son, is he around it? Can we, uh, can we question yeah, him a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely around. He's just bringing on you guys, man. You know, like, <laughs> you guys are the celebrities though. Hey, you know? don't, so. don't get, don't, Hey, Hey, we ask him questions. Don't give him no uh, dirty look, man. <laughs> uh, no, my son, he's, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's an honest guy. So he's like, oh, uh, he, he's not afraid of, uh, he's like his dad there. <laughs> no, he's not as <laughs> as uh, straightforward as me. But you know. yeah, if you can get him to jump in with you, uh, uh, we got a few questions. Yeah, for sure. Uh, interrogate him real quick. All right, <laughs> Andrew. Andrew, the celebrities want to talk to you. Man. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Stop, man. No celebrity. Bro. Hey, <laughs> you better. You guys better send him an autograph shirt or something, man. <laughs> yeah, right. Lamelo. Lamelo, get on, Lamelo. <laughs> What's up, Lamelo Ball? <laughs> How you doing? Thanks for having me. Hey, I think up, I'm man? the first player on this show that actually isn't good yet. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we know for a fact that you're you're gonna get there. <laughs> Working my best. Yeah. We see All we right. see the trajectory, man. <laughs> All well, right, you want to go ahead and yeah. Yeah, for sure. First of all, Andrew, welcome to Cross Court Conversation. It was nice speaking with you when I saw you briefly at the tournament, man. Yep. Uh, you seem like a very uh, humble young man with uh, great parenting skills. Okay, so. Thank you. Um, Tell your mom thanks for good parenting. <laughs> your dad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Rob gets... An A for the group project, man. That's that's what it is, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just tagging along. <laughs> All right, Andrew. We're gonna get right into it, man. Do you feel any added pressure being Rob's son? Which you know, Rob. You know, he did a lot of stuff in uh, HVB, yeah. and being 
we coin you as the rising star. So do you feel like, okay, now I got a target on my back or now I got like this added pressure? Do you feel that? Um, to answer the first part about being a legend's son, mm -hmm. a lot of people ask me like, oh, how does it feel to be Rob's son? All this, all that. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, to me, he's, he's just bad, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm actually really grateful that I have a dad that's this experienced mm -hmm. and a champion in HBB mm -hmm. because I feel like without him, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And I feel like he really got me into the scene mm -hmm. and teams started noticing more, me more because of my dad. Mm -hmm. Like when I first started playing, I, I wasn't really thinking about HBB all that. Mm -hmm. But my dad just threw a team together and was like, hey, you're playing in it. And I was like, <laughs> I, mean, I guess I am. And, I mean, just goes from there. And then okay. to answer the second part yep. about, you know, being the close pressure. to you guys' yeah. page. Mm -hmm. I was actually super surprised that you guys picked me because um, I know you were there watching the Titan game, Will. Mm -hmm. And to be very honest, I mean, I think I played that well that game. I feel like I could have done a lot better, and we ended up coming short and losing. Right. But I feel very humbled. And then reading it, mm -hmm. it actually it actually gives me a lot of encouragement. I'm not. It doesn't make me nervous at all because mm -hmm. you guys said that you see me as a raw player, right? And um, I've been working real hard to hone my talent, and if I'm still raw and other people's eyes, then that's even better. That means I could get a lot better, right. um, even more better than I thought it could originally be. So mm. I'm looking forward to it. And there may be a target on my back, and I hope there is because I want to elevate the level of other people as well. There you go. That's that's a great comment, man. That's the way. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah. Um, you know, if we, you know add any added pressure on you man we didn't mean to do that we just i was there i saw you and i was like man who's this kid he's like tall linky uh could hop out of the gym but he's still like you said like i like the post was you it looked like you the game was still kind of new to you and you still had like you know um you didn't have the full package yet you know which will take time man. so mm -hmm. um so definitely, man. So we're looking forward to your growth, man. Pen, you want to go with the next one, or you, yeah. the next question, or you want me to? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, I, <clears throat> um, I, I got to catch you uh, play when I was at work. So I, I was online watching on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, I did see you. I, I did think that you were kind of raw yet, and and that says a lot about you. You know what I mean? Like you're already playing at that level and 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 competing at that level at such a raw uh, stage yet. Um, but in your eyes, like what what more can you improve on, and what do you look to improve on? Um, I know something that I've been trying to improve for a while, which naturally doesn't come easy to me is my approach and my form if i if you guys watch me play i'm pretty formless when i go up to hit <laughs> and it it just is something that doesn't come naturally as easy to me as say jumping super high mm -hmm. and i mean that's something other young players could get from as well that you'll have things that come naturally easier to you than other people. Yeah. And then there's other things that you're going to have to work harder for. And for me, it's, it's my approach and my form because my approach is really, when you watch it, it seems like it's really timid and choppy mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. which in my head, I feel like I'm attacking it aggressively. But then when you go watch it, it doesn't seem that way. And just my form, I need to get it <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> I think um, with 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 the Cali kids, mm -hmm. you know, because they they have high school ball and stuff like that, and they're, yeah. they're getting coaches and stuff. 
I just, they're more refined. I mean, you can right. tell like, like these Cali kids, uh, when they're come when they come up here, their 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 um their forms a lot better, you know, for for their age, and they're just just they're just more refined, you know. So I mean, big ups to Cali, um, but it's just like they have a head start on us, you know, in the, the yeah. people in the Midwest, especially in Minnesota. You know, he started playing club ball when he was a, at school because it's not an official sport yet in, okay. you know, in you know his his junior year. And then his senior year with COVID and stuff, I mean, his sophomore year, then his junior and senior year, like it got cut, you know, because of COVID, you know? So it's just kind of like, you know, we're just, we're, we're just catching up, you know, to Cali, you know what I mean? And I mean, when you go to the tournaments, I mean, you can definitely see it, you know? Yeah. I know that one of you guys made, um, you guys, one of you guys made uh, a comment saying that, I think it was Hugh or something saying that there, or, or, or it was, it was that dude named Fusu right <laughs> he, he said that yeah it's night and day and the people that are being coached and whatever mm-hmm. that, that play organized ball to the ones that are just learning it at the park and mm-hmm. i was one of the guys that learned it at the park you know right all right and then andrew how long have you been uh playing volleyball i know volleyball it, it's not your first sport is it i think you played basketball right yeah basketball was my first sport mm-hmm. and then i started volleyball my sophomore year, so See. almost three years coming up okay. to three years for me. Okay, and yeah, and it's so raw, man. The talent, I think, the skill, the jumping, and all that kind of stuff, it kind of transferred over. <laughs> this dude's like the he's like a the Mong Giannis right here or something. Three years, and, <laughs> three, yeah, three years, and you're red better than your dad ever was, man. That's, that's a lot, you know. <laughs> I don't know if this is a lot about you or a, like a lot less about your dad. And, and I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, right. you know, after just you know playing playing uh, you know this tournament, you know, you've been through some uh, high intensity games. Like, what what did you take away from this the tournament? Um, my overall experience, if I just had to put it in one word, is just that it was just so much fun for me because I haven't really ever played HBB at that high of a level compared to Wasa. Uh, I did play in a J4 before, but I was on a young team and we got whooped by everyone and went 2 and 0, so or 0 and 2. <laughs> So this is like my first real experience of yeah. some good HVB. I know we got to play Hidden Leaf in mm-hmm. pool play. We played Titan. We played Caliber. So I'm happy that we got to play a lot of good teams. Creed as well. Yeah. From Minnesota. Definitely. Yeah. And then, you know, just those experiences, man, it's going to give you kind of like, you know, where it kind of lets you know where you're at and kind of knows where you need to go, right? And that, um, Andrew, when you see a young team, like right, kind of like Phantom and the success that they have, you know, over this past weekend, you know, what's your reaction to that? For me, it's encouraging and exciting to see that there's other young people my age that mm-hmm. are able to play HVB at that level. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, it's like, I got, it makes me want to train harder mm-hmm. because I know that they're going to be in my way for some day four <laughs> champions. Yeah. You guys are right about the same, the whole lot. <laughs> you guys are right about the same <laughs> age where if you guys all develop at the same time, you guys going to have a lot of rivalry for years to come, man. Yep. So I look Everyone forward to it. With it. Yeah. I look forward to all our battles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the mullet man, though. The, the mullet dude. That, dude's, that, dude's, that dude's a good player. He, he can be a, he's a rising star, man. Yeah, yeah, very good player. Yeah, very, very fundamentally sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll go with. What, uh, uh, go ahead, Pat. Yeah, go ahead. All right, yeah, and the last one. All right. Yeah. What's your plan? Um, you know, obviously we talked about your, uh, you know, it's a natural ability, just jumping out of it. I don't know if it's natural or not. You probably worked on it, but you're, you know, just all the physical stuff you have already. 
you know, what are you going to do to work on the actual skills? So now that you have the physical stuff, what are you going to do in the future to work on the skills to make you or to bring you to that next level, man? What's the plan? So I know that working on my individual skill for HVB is going to take a lot of focus and dedication to, you know, improve because mm -hmm. I know I had to do that this past year a lot, especially during um, COVID when we couldn't do very much at all. I was really just training my body and mentally preparing to mm -hmm. uh, improve. And then I saw the fruits of my labor and I was getting a lot better. Mm -hmm. So I just need to keep telling myself in my head that, you know, the sky's the limit. I could mm -hmm. keep getting better. There's so much to improve. Even mm -hmm. the little things, I know like a lot of young kids around me, like my friends, they're always like, man, I only get invited to the park to play with weak players, you know? <laughs> and I get that. But even though you're playing against weak players, there's always something to improve on for yourself. Like say they can't even they can't even hit the ball over the net. Well, when you're serving, you could still practice aiming spots and you know getting hitters off balance maybe. Mm. That for example. So I just need to keep rem reminding myself that there's always something to improve on and not be satisfied with where I'm at. I think mm. that's where a lot of players plateau mm. and stop getting better is when. They just become satisfied. And for me, I'll never be satisfied until I become like Yuji Nishida pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, uh, thank you, Andrew. It, it seems like you got a good head on you. Um, definitely uh, we're looking forward to kind of seeing your progress. I mean, 18 years old, good Lord, man. <laughs> you know I mean, I mean? you like, uh, I, I, I play longer than you, you ever lived. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, man, we're, we're truly looking forward to you. Um, um, For the next decade, yeah. the next 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and that's not even out of the question because, you know, a team like um, KO, they've been playing – or like at the top of their game winning for like 15 years, man. That we could definitely see you in that role, just dominating the scene and, you know, your team will be the team to beat. And we could definitely see that storyline um, as the, you know, time progresses for sure. Um, we already see, we got a uh, Thought Slayer right here trying to recruit you already, man. He commented, just come join <laughs> us, man. That's tampering, dude. <laughs> He's already there, right? He's scheming. <laughs> man, man, if you go on their team, yeah, man, yeah. you guys will be unstoppable. Yeah, man. Yeah, for real, that, that's that's going to be a deadly combination. I think, I think you on any team is, is pretty unstoppable. Yeah, because uh, if they have you as well, too, they're, you know, they're already pretty solid. They have you as well, too. Oh, my gosh, man. That'll be, yeah. Um, yeah, me um, and the Thought Slayer on week <laughs> oh yeah, five. Yeah, I know. When I come Opposite. out, he goes in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be dope, man. Yeah, no, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. But uh, thanks a lot. Um, definitely uh, uh, say uh, I'd like to congratulate your mom for putting all that work. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk with uh, Andrew's dad uh, after this, after you're done. You know, he's a nobody, but... What do you call him? You keep, you keep on calling him the LeVar, the Mon LeVar Ball and stuff. Yeah, yeah. How is, how is it uh, being LeVar Ball's son, man? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get shoe contract. <laughs> yeah. You guys want him on a team, you guys got to call me, okay? <laughs> People already do that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Everyone goes to my dad, like... If they're like getting me up to play with them, they're just they just ask my dad yeah, they, and not me. Yeah, they're like, hey, what do you think about Andrew coming to play with us? This and that, you know. This is kind of like I was like, dude, my son, he's he's 18 now. He, you know, <laughs> he's a grown man. Go ahead and ask him. But they're like, you know, if you approve though, it's gonna it's gonna help our chances a lot more, you know. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's funny because when he first started, you know. He was already so good, you know. He was already naturally talented. I could already see where where he he was going. But 
when he first started, you know, like his first year, I remember his sophomore year, he was, he was playing basketball for a school. And then I signed them, I signed them up without even telling them, be like, Oh, we're playing, we're playing, uh, we're playing in this, uh, uh, travel volleyball league. You know what I mean? And he was like, what? Like he was all against it and stuff. So for a little bit, for a couple of weeks, like after, right after basketball practice, we would go to the gym, you know, and play with his team and stuff like that. And he was already naturally good, but it's just like, you know, I think at that age, like whatever your parents tell you, even if it's good for you, that you're not going to do it. You know, and it's like, he's kind of like pissed off and you know, we're driving very like, you know, we, he's not talking to me at all, driving him to volleyball, you know, so like, you know, and I had already paid for in this NASA. So I was just like, man, like, you know, like, I feel like, you know, if I would have pushed him a lot, like he would have probably, you know, he probably wouldn't have gotten into the game, you know, so it's just kind of like, you know, but but at the same time, I was like, man, like if he would have liked it then and started then, he would have had another one or two years of like full volleyball, you know, and, mm-hmm. you know, I just imagine like how good he, he would have been now, you know, but, you know, it's just, just like, you know, these, these young kids, it's just like, you know, they got to learn to love the game on their own. And, and you know, I'm yeah. happy that my son is lo- loving the game, you know. Yeah. That's for sure, man. And you know, hopefully he can continue on this trend, man. And, you know, like, like we said, we don't want to put any added pressure on you. You know, the life, I mean, it's tough already, man. And for people to put expectations on you and all this kind of stuff, you know, that's unfair. You know, just whatever the outcome is, win, lose, or draw, we will continue to be your fan. So, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, you just see some potential in you where you could, you know, and hopefully you see it in yourself too. So you could like, you know, try to get there. But like um, the main important thing is you are the best version of yourself and win, lose, or draw, you know, you got fans in, in uh, cross court, man. Cross court is your fan. So thank you guys. Thank you. Guys. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We're looking forward to getting you back on um, when you do something significant. So yeah, get the hell out of here, man. The next day four, hopefully his team will win. You guys can bring him on. You guys can tell him. For now, get the hell out of here. (laughs) Well, hey, we don't want to hold you up on your time, Andrew. We're going to chat with your dad a little bit because he's on the hot seat, man. He's been, like, you know, just talking too much. You guys, you guys, man, you guys got, like, man, I got to wear a bulletproof vest. No, it's not like that. I'm scared to to leave my house, man. What do you you think? How do you think your son feels? (laughs) (laughs) That's all. I mean, honestly, with him being young like that, you know, like having a target on your back is a great feeling because the yeah, thing is, right. is like, you know, not just for him, but like mm-hmm. for my, for, for the teams in Minnesota, you know, when you have a target on your back, you could either fold or right. else you can, you know, you can get up and fight, you know what I mean? Right. And, and, yeah, and like, you know, I love, I love, I love the teams here. You know, I'm always talking to man with outlaw. you like, Hey man, you guys should have won. You know, I'm always trying to encourage those guys and like, you know, like, you know, there's specific players that, that I see on all these teams and they have so much potential. And it's just kind of like, you know, I just want to see them, you know, I, I just want to see their maximum potential because I love the game so much. And I, I, you know, I just love watching it so much, you know? Well, that's, that's good, man. And, you know, and just, you know, throughout the whole process, man, just stay humble, man. Just don't be like your dad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, but for sure, man, you got a, a great parent and your dad and your mom, man, hopefully they guide you and, you know, you could just, you know, be the best version of yourself, man. That's the most important thing. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. So, yep, for sure, for sure, man. Thank you for your time. Yep. And dude, we're going to get back to your dad. Thank you. Uh, yep. Those of you who are just joining us, this is Rob from Airborne. Uh, here's his credentials. Three time, three it was a three P, right, Rob? Three years in a row, right? Three straight J four championship. Uh, I think the one and only team to go out to Fresno and win that New Year's as well, too. So Rob has a lot of credentials. What he speaks, he's seen and been through. So we're gonna get right back into the segment. Rob already addressed what he posted. Um, basically, he just says that you know, um, you know, this should you know light a fire under the Midwest players and for them to improve. 
you know, just to paraphrase and sum it all up. And then we're going to move on to the next seven, segment right here, right, Ping? Yep. But hey, but I just want to, we got? I just want to, yeah. you know, like I said, I'm, I'm personally calling mm -hmm. Cree, I'm personally calling out, uh, I'm personally calling out, you know, C9, I'm personally calling out uh, MBY, I'm personally calling out Outlaws, mm -hmm. you know, like you guys got to step up, you know, I mean, with me being a fan, mm -hmm. like, you guys have so much potential, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. don't sell you guys, you know, don't sell yourself short, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and like, I just saw that, uh, that video that uh, Alan put up on yes. how the team is lifting weights, mm -hmm. you know, they're doing all this stuff outside the court, you know? Yeah. And, and that's, that's how we should be preparing here. Cause mm -hmm. you know, we're all, we're already the underdog, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know, like, like uh, I think I read one of Corey's uh, comments and he says that, Hey, the talents and the, the championships are going to shift back and forth, back and forth, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's definitely true, but you know, guys, it's, it's been staying in Cali for a long ass time. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, you guys yeah. got to get up. You know what I mean? I see the talent. I'm out at the park. You guys see me, you know, I'm out at the park, you know, I'm, and I'm there, you know, like, like I said, I'm always going to be my, my son's number one supporter, but you know, it's just like when we were playing, it's about home, you know, it's about, you know, the pride playing, you know, from the Twin Cities and like, you know, when, when you guys go out, you guys are representing me, you guys are representing my son, you guys are representing all the, all these guys that, that, all the OGs from the Twin Cities, and and we, you know, we want you guys to succeed. We want you guys to win. You know, we want you guys to feel, you know, the taste of victory. You know, because you guys, all all these teams are great. You know, and, and you know, we need to go down to Cali, and we need to take first, second, and third. You know what I mean? Right, so, right. you know, you know, you know, they they have a target on their back now, and and right now it's going to be fun to see what we do. You know, if, are we going to, you know, which team are going to stand up and which team? Yeah. He's just gonna lay down, you know. Do you see? Do you see any possibility of, of like all the teams that you named, like kind of creating a, a team Minnesota, like a like a like a like an A team and a B team, you know, but all under the umbrella of Team Minnesota. Yeah, I mean, I know one year, the uh, we the, we tried bringing in the super team down to Cali. I think I think it was with Fusu Buddha. Um, I think it was with Hugh and stuff like that. And they were doing great. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, especially, you know, for example, like C9, when they play Titans, it, it comes down to team chemistry and how long you play with each other. You know what I mean? So if you're just pulling guys, you, if you're just pulling players to, to uh, you know, to play and stuff, that's going to show it. You know, you might be able to mask it for a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's going to show it, you know? And, and like, for example, when we went down to Fresno, that year, um, you know, at the Fresno New Year, they we did an exhibition game where the California All Stars played us, and like we just, they, I mean, individually these guys are superstars, you know what I mean? But you're just throwing people on a team, and they couldn't do nothing against us, you know? Right. Right, but but what I'm talking about is like actually creating a team to play year round. All right. You know what I mean? Getting all those players and, and having them commit to playing year round. Yeah, yeah. In that I mean, manner, do you think that? Yeah, I, that's or? definitely that's that's like that's something like I'm going through right now. I'm trying to form a, a Cali Slayer team, right? And and the thing is, is like with the free, <laughs> with the free agents that we got, you know, there's not enough good players that aren't playing on a team right now. So it's just like I got to steal guys. You know what I mean? I got to steal. Yeah. I got to steal somebody from this team. I got to steal somebody from this team. I got to steal somebody from this team. It's, it's just like, you know, I was talking to uh, one of the players that, you know, that, that I'm thinking of, like, putting the team together with. And I was just like, man, I would rather lose with an enemy. I mean, I would rather win with an enemy than to lose with a friend. You know, ju just, just, just saying that, like, a lot of these teams, they would be so great. But it's just like you're only as good as you're the weakest link. And, and I know, like, I can see that they know who the weakest link is, but they're just so, they're just, you know, they're, they're either real, real good friends or, or a, bro a brother or a cousin or whatever. And, and, and they, they kind of stick to themselves like that. And it's just like, 
man, like I see you guys doing so well, but you guys just got to make a couple adjustments, you know? And, yeah. and, you know, like, like I told you guys a little earlier, you know, during the day and stuff, it's just like, man, it's just like these, these dudes are just so good, but it's just kind of like, they keep doing the same thing over and over, you know, even when they go and play, it's just like, they're not making adjustments. Yeah. And they think that like, they, if they keep doing the same thing, they think that all of a sudden, you know, something's going to change, but like, dude, if you keep doing the same thing and you never won, you got to make adjustments, you know, you got to make changes. If that's like, Hey, we need, we need to pick somebody up. That's better. We need a, we need better defensive player. We need this. We need that. It's just like, right. you no, know, but a lot of times they're so close to it, you know, and like, it takes somebody from, you know, to kind of stand back and be like, Hey, you know, this is, you know, that's this is what we're missing. This is, these are the adjustments that we're making and stuff like that, you know? That's for sure. You know, and, and and I think we talked to Sean a little bit too, right? Penguin Sean and Sean, we talked about their prime time, how they made adjustments like throughout the game. Like they switched yep. you know, position here and there. And like, I, think, I think it was him and Cool doing all the adjustments and all the brain work while everyone was just like uh, moving at wherever they told him to move to. So, you know, just throughout the game, you know, for sure that is something that is, uh, that needs to be done right. in order to, take it to the next step. Yeah. Yeah. And then like a lot of the teams, they gotta be like, I mean, they gotta self reflect and be super honest with themselves, you know, like, you know, like with my son, he's like, you know, he's played with, you know, a couple of teams and stuff or pickups and stuff like that. And he's like, it's hard being the youngest person on the team. And it's like, he mm -hmm. can see the game. I mean, me and him, we're always talking about the game. We're always like, I'm always sending him YouTube videos. Hey, you know, look at this, you know, look at that. You know, see what he's doing, see what he's doing. So, like, you know, he, he has a pretty good feel of the game, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, when he's playing, when he's playing with these pickup teams and, like, him being the youngest team, and even with when he was playing with C9 and his old team, it's just, like, he would pick up on things. But, like, he wouldn't tell, he wouldn't say nothing. My, my son's pretty shy, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and he's, like, he doesn't really like, you know, he's the youngest, so he's, like, man, like, I can't talk to these guys, you know, because right. it's like, you know, just, just, just res out of respect, you know what I mean? Because he doesn't want to whatever, but I'm like, Hey, if you see something, if you need, a, if you know there, there needs to be an adjustment, you need to tell your team, you know what I mean? You, you got to at least throw it out there. They do it. They sure. do it. If they don't, they don't, but, but it's just like, mm -hmm. you know, that one adjustment, could, could, you know, if they could do that one adjustment, that could change the outcome of the whole game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's for sure, man. That's for sure. Um, let's see here. Let's, I see a question right here. Can we answer one of the questions by Matthew? Basically, yeah, Rod, he, yeah, basically he asked, I think I'm just going to, he wrote a long paragraph, but I'm just, I think basically what he's asking is how will your airborne team back then, you know, if you guys had your team airborne, what's your game plan around like, a team like Titans, Critical, and Phantom. So basically, he's comparing two eras, your team versus Titan, Critical, and Phantom. What, what would Airborne be doing to beat those guys? I mean, I I think that, you know, when, when I played, to be honest, mm -hmm. like, a lot of teams had to make adjustments on us, mm -hmm. you know? It's just like we were the top team, and they, they had to make adjustments on us, you know? Yeah. I think when we went down to Cali, we had to make a, um, when we played Ravens, that, that was, you know, those, those guys are great players, you know, especially yeah. uh, the lefty, you know, he was yeah. unstoppable. But the thing was, when, when we played those guys, like, I think his name is Lon, right? The lefty, mm -hmm. like he was just, yeah. he was just putting the ball down on, on uh, our best blocker, which is Cal, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is that when we went down there, Cal had a lot of, um, you know, he wanted to showcase us, you know, because that's that's where he's from, you know. Right. And like, you know, everybody looked up to him there. Like when he, he played with Legend and, and yeah. Legend was unstoppable, you know. Right. So he was like, he was, he, he just wanted La one-on-one, -on -one, you mm -hmm. know. And and the thing is, is like, he stuffed La like one or two times straight down and, and then La, you know, you could even ask him, and he went up to Cal in front of everybody. He's like, "You ain't touching the ball no more." Mm -hmm. He said that to, to Cal, and I was like, "Damn!" Mm -hmm. And then the thing too is, is he just didn't say it. 
he was cutting around him like left and right. Like hell didn't touch the ball at all anymore. Mm. And then we were like, Hey, we got to make an adjustment. We can't, we can't touch this dude at all, you know? And then, you know, and like, especially with Cal, he likes to play by feel. He likes to block by feel. And we were like, Cal, we need you to just block line. Just, just block line. Like, cause, cause he lies. He's such a great player, a great, he sees the court. So he'll see Cal. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, hey, just block line, you know, because he's a smart player. He's just going to go to where it's open. And then we were just, we just sat right there in the open space mm-hmm. and he would just keep hitting to us, mm-hmm. you know, and then we just, we just had to adjust to like, his, his speed of his balls. Okay. And, and that's how we beat him. Okay. So you guys just let him go with that angle and then. Yeah, we had to, because he was, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, we, it's like pick your poison, right? Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> And the thing Basically. too was like they had a they, yeah they had, they had real, to contain him you know? yeah yeah they had a real tall guy on their team that was doing damage in the beginning as well and then we just we just had our biggest guy match up and then yeah. once they were going at it they were basically they weren't able to do anything you know their biggest guy was stopping our biggest guy yeah I know like you know we had a lot of problems but we we, we had to make a that was one of the teams that we had to make a lot of adjustments to. Mm-hmm. You know, we had to make a lot of adjustments to, and 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 you know, one of the other teams that we had to make a lot of adjustments to, and it didn't turn out so great. Mm-hmm. You know, if you want to ask, uh, uh, them drifter dudes, you know, yeah. they like they show me the video every time I need to. I see the thing on video, you know, but, but they, they, they never have videos of us being them though. But that's the video out there. But you know, make, making adjustments to that to the big white guy, it was right. it was it was real hard because. The thing is, is like when we played him, he he was hitting the ball higher, yeah. but quicker. But it was just like his ball, his ball, his he wasn't getting really good ball contact on the ball, mm-hmm. you know. So it kind of was like an off speed spike all the time, and mm-hmm. and those are like the hardest, the hardest, uh, you know, the hardest spikes to read, you know, when when a guy is kind of lengthy like that, and like when he swings, you really can't you really can't see where the ball is going, you know, especially when he's hitting over blockers as well. You know, that was just like a, uh, it was just super difficult, you know, but I give him props, man. I give him props for beating us that year. And I think yeah. it's just like, you know, I, what I want like the Midwest guys to learn is like, Hey, they beat us that year. Wisconsin beat Minnesota, but you know what? Like we, we, we won that, that tournament, you know, we won after that still. And, and you know, when I, when I first started playing, like, especially with Cal, he was like, yeah, Legend's the best. Legend's the best, you know? And it's just like, yeah, like Cali. Like, when the Cali guys, when they came up here, there was a lot of Cali volleyball players that were moving up to the Twin Cities at that time. And when, yeah. when we go to the gym, when we would go to the park, they were popping balls. Like, right. I was like, man, like, you, are you guys eating some different sticky rice down there or what? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> That's you know, what I'm saying, shoot. Sure. And they were <laughs> killing it. You know, but then when I got to know them guys a lot and they're like, yeah, we hit the ball so hard because when they train, I don't know if that's, it's the same way here now, but, but like when they train, they, they'll pump the volleyball as hard as a basketball and that's how they play. Oh, so imagine yeah, hitting yeah. a ball that hard. And then when you come play up in Minnesota and the ball's light, when yeah. you hit it, it's just like, you're going to have so much more force. Yeah. You know, like, like, um, I, I know that like when we won the July 4th and when we went down to Fresno to play, like we went down there a week ahead of time to just kind of acclimate ourselves to the weather yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, we had five guys and we went to, we played a little tournament and we got whooped because the ball was so hard. Mm-hmm. It was just like, you know how, when you haven't played volleyball for a long time, or if it's your first time playing, when you play, like your arms are all red and bruised up, you know? And I was like, dang, like these balls are hard. <laughs> and then, and then when we went to Fresno, I mean, honestly, what killed them guys, yeah. Against us is they, they were super nice to us. They're like, hey, we'll make the ball soft for you guys, right? <laughs> and then that, that's how we that's how we were honestly that's how we were able to win because if, if they if they kept the uh the balls as hard as they were back yeah. then, like there's no way we would we would have beat those guys. Okay. So there you go, Midwest man, bring your soft balls, Midwest, <laughs> bring your soft balls. <laughs> no, and the thing too is just like you know, with the Midwest and the, the East the West Coast thing, it's just like I know that when we went down, like, you know, like you, I don't care what anybody says, like you're not the best team if you can't win J4th and 
Fresno the same year. You right. know what I mean? Right. But the thing yeah. is, is like, you know, when 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 Legend came up and whooped our ass, like, mm-hmm. like they stri- they totally killed us. You know what I mean? We were like, hey, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna regroup and we're we're gonna train harder and we're gonna go down there and we're gonna show them one day. You know, when we're ready, we're gonna go down there and show them. You know? Yeah. And and that's what that's what we used because Cali was so dominant back then. That's what we used they to were. fuel us. Yeah. And that's 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 just like that's what I'm kind of like comparing, you know, then to now is like guys from the Midwest, guys from the Twin Cities is like use that to fuel yourself, fuel yourself, right. regroup, and go down there and show them. You know what I mean? Right. Have them pride, like you know, go down there and show them. You yeah. know, because this is like, you know, we can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they got sure. you know they got good they got great players this and that, but you know we got great players too. You know, and and but not every- everyone can take their greatest player though. Not everyone can take Allen and put them on the team. <laughs> yeah, too, but... By the way, yeah, speaking of Allen. Because y'all took Kel and put put him on your team. <laughs> no, but no, but Kel moved up here at that time, though. So Allen, move up here. Yeah, that's what we need. Like, hey, I'm already, I'm in, I'm already in Cool's ears. Instead of from time, 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 I'd be like, look, man, I need you, guy. I need you, bro. I need you, man. You know, I'm like, what do you need? I'll give you a shoe contract, dude. Whatever, man. <laughs> oh, but, but, but I mean, like, you know, and the thing too is, I think, I think, you know, we take, you know, we take a little bit, uh, you know, we're like, we're one of the reasons why Ravens came up here, you right. know, because after we beat Ravens, La was like, look, we're coming up, you know, we're coming up to the Twin Cities July 4th, you know, right. We're going to come up and we're going to win. Mm-hmm. And they came up, you know, I don't know if it was the very next year or it was because he got hurt one year, but he came up and they won, you know. So, I heard different, man. I heard different, dude. So, they, so they, they came up here, you know what I mean? So they're like, hey, you know. You ask, I'll tell you, you ask who about that. Ask who? who, who Pam Pam? Ask who, yes. All right, all right. Hey, I'm going I'm to be with him tomorrow. I'm going to ask him. You ask him. And well, then, uh, and then, uh. Text me back. <laughs> but, you know, like, like just motiv- just motivating each other. You know what I mean? Because the thing is, is like, you know, like rule talk, you're not the best yeah. unless you beat the best. Right. You know? So if you're, if you're just joining us, we have Rob here, uh, you know, three time J4 champ, three Pete, uh, went out to California, won that as well too, the Fresno New Year's. We're just speaking with him a little bit. Uh, Rob, yeah. speaking of Allen a little bit, what do you think of his performance, man? Um, man, Allen, he's throughout the he's whole a, tournament. He's a solid player, man. Like, mm-hmm. like you know, what I got to give Cali, I got what I got to give that team props on is like using Allen out of system. It's mm-hmm. like they're out of system play is like they're they're in system play. It's like these yeah. these plays are drawn drawn up for them, you know. Like mm-hmm. that's what the Midwest is missing. Like like our back row attacks, you know. Um, you know, it's just like every shank ball, you know, every help ball is going to Allen back row. And, and he can hit all those balls. Yeah. You know, he, he's a solid player. His form is – his form and his swing, man, it's just kind of like – it's like he's he's one of the best that, I, that I've seen play. That dude is a total beast, you know. And, yeah. and like, young players, they need to – you know, they need to see how great he is as a player. And they need to, like – you know, they need to up their game, you know what I mean? Use mm-hmm. Allen as, you know, use Allen and, and, and try to get to his level. Right. Yeah, he, he should be the uh, the uh, measuring step. I think it's it's okay. going to be him and probably Yi Lang. Mm-hmm. You know, Yi Lang's still on, on his game as well, too. Um, and I don't so know if you guys know, like, Yi Lang lives up here in St. Paul now. Oh, does know? he? Oh, okay. Yeah, so he, he's been up here for a little bit now. So, <laughs> like, man, I see how hard that dude, like, Every time I go to the park, man, he's there. Yeah. He's there. I don't know how he does it. Ain't he married? You know? Uh, <laughs> man, I don't, I don't even know. His, but, he's there, but yeah, he's, definitely. Uh, he's Him and Yiling are two outside hitters that are definitely someone to look up to. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I was very impressed by Allen. I was more impressed by Allen's mentality more than his physical stuff because mm-hmm. it, look, it seemed like the, ne- the pressure never got to him or whatever. Yep. Yep. He just kept on like you know, yeah. going to the next place. So yeah. I was more impressed with that. Yeah. So, um, uh, let's see. Let's see what there's. Let me check if there's any questions, um, by the way. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, 
Andrew said, don't talk all night, man. He's, he's <laughs> trying to train tomorrow at 5 a.m. in the morning. Dude, we got to quiet down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see here. Kai said, you yeah, the pro touch volleyball. Yep. Uh, Fusu, be willing to lose a friend if you leave a team. That's how serious it was back then. So Rob would never hop on MDY, right, Rob? Man, never. Like Man, you know what? I don't know if I told you guys the story, but I did get asked to play with MDY one time at a tournament when I got hurt, you know? And okay. I was this this close. I was okay. this close, but it's just like, man, like, I was like, I've been too thick and thin with these guys. So, yeah. like, I had I had to stick with them, you know? Like, you know? But it, What it were you was, doing was, there? Just your team wasn't there? Everyone wasn't there or what? No, my team was there. We were out in Blaine. Okay. And like, if you know, if you guys been out to Blaine before, you're playing on these the soccer turf, so the grass is real thick. So when when you when you jump and land, you think that you you're already on the ground, but it's so thick, you know, you sink eat down even more. So when I went, and, and you know, like you know, uh, as a middle hitter, I, I went in for one of my fakes, you know, thinking that I'm gonna get the ball and the ball doesn't come my way, you know, I do a fake and I come down and I twist my ankle. And then what was real, real cool was like all the MDYs came. It was it was kind of bad. So all the MDY team came, mm. and they were like, man, like they were helping me out this and that. And my airborne team, they're like just kind of watching. So mm. you know, it was probably because all the MDY guys came that they weren't able to come in and check up on me or whatever, you know. But but it was just like after the tournament, they're like, man, like didn't you see it, man? Like we're all among brothers, man. Like when you got hurt. None of those, and you, none of your teammates came or said nothing, this and that, right? So I was like, it made me think. I was like, yeah, what the hell are they going to do? They almost turned your ass. <laughs> they almost turned me, man. But... That's a good story right there, man. They're doing data, you can't come yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. They, they used that Jedi mind trick on me, man. But man, they were like, I had to refocus myself. And stuff, you know? Man, they, they almost pull one on you, man. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, airborne back then was no joke. Uh, he's, he's had, you guys always look pissed as hell on the court, but you guys were the nicest guys off the court. Yeah. Um, now our fires can hit front row only. Yes. I mean, that, speaking of a player such as Allen and, you know, you're laying them, they could, they're dangerous from everywhere on the court. Yeah. So that's kind of where, you know, that's the potential that Andrew has. That's what I was kind of uh, alluding to where you got to have, you got to be a threat all over the court, you know, yeah. just not in the front row. When you're in the back court, you got to hit those tens and, and hit them effectively too. Yeah. I mean, when my son was playing for Minnesota Select, like our local uh, traveling club, mm -hmm. like he would, when he's in the back row, he would always switch to the, to the server position mm -hmm. for, to get ready for attacks. And they would, they would set him all the time, but it would just, like the players at his club, they weren't that good yet to give them the balls and stuff. You know what I mean? So they they weren't they didn't they they weren't where they needed to be. But it's just like when he was when he plays with C nine and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of times there's a, there's a rotation where he's in the back row, and then um, the setter he's 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 in the right, he's in the on the weak side position, and he's setting you know he's setting the you know he's up front row and the two hitters are in front of him, mm -hmm. you know. And it's like they, there's the blockers are stacked, you know, in the middle and you know on on the strong side. And he, he's, I'm thinking to myself, man, Andrew is wide open right there. Set it to him back row. You know what I mean? Because right. even if he's not hitting it solid, you you have a higher chance of, of you know surprising. You know, it's like a surprise attack. They're not they're not ready for it. You know what I mean? But or at least at least create a little space between the blockers. You know, having making that a threat at exactly. least you know having the blockers kind of shift over yeah. to him a little bit you know yeah. that little just that little six inch to a foot yeah. matters when you know when you're a hitter you know what I mean? yeah. so. and then once you start running that your defense is gonna they're gonna see and they're gonna try to watch that so mm -hmm. it's gonna break up their defense a little bit because they always got to leave a guy there now you know yeah. so then you're giving your other two play, your other two hitters you know you know, you're, you're freeing them up more to, to maybe go one one on one or, or two on one instead of like three on one all the time, right? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> gotta, let's, let's go back to the comment section and we'll um, yeah. move forward. Uh, four seasons said a lot of Midwest players lack discipline. 
Uh, Cali younger players are more disciplined because of a high school and organized ball. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if, you know, Midwest, <clears throat> there's no program in the Midwest, correct? Right, Peng? Like, I know in no, Milwaukee. That's high, there's, I don't know what there's high school. There is. Yeah. There is. Well, there is. Yeah. Not publicly, at least. <clears throat> publicly, there is. <clears throat> okay. in like, all, like in Appleton, it's all public school. Okay. Um, there's, we have Appleton East, West, North. They oh, all have program. program. Kimberly, Nina. Yes. Um, Take advantage of that. Fond du Lac. Like, but, yeah. um, but, and, and, and we kind of, I kind of spoke on it, um, mm -hmm. one of our episodes before, but, mm -hmm. Like it, it's gonna. I think it was uh, cultivating the youth. But if if those kids can get ready, mm -hmm. leading up to high school, then mm -hmm. do you get what I'm saying? Like, like you can't just get to high school and be like, oh man, I want to play. Right. You, you you're not even ready. These kids been ready when they were like five, six, yeah. eight years old. You know what I mean? Right. Like you you cannot just be like 14, 15 years old. Like oh yeah yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try out. It's too late. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Um, and we, we definitely like like if if I I don't care if they play volleyball as their first sport. Like my son, <clears throat> volleyball is not his first sport. He just started mm -hmm. volleyball when he was like freshman. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um but he was involved in the sport, you know, he was playing basketball, which you know is, is played in the same court. So so when you play when you transition to volleyball, it's very familiar, you know what I mean? It kind of translates. Because you you know you're playing on the same hardwood court and you know you know what I mean you're you're still jumping and and moving laterally the same way, so like when he transitioned it was easy, but yeah uh, definitely you know if they don't want if you don't want to get them involved in volleyball get them involved in basketball at, at a young age something that's played on hardwood, you know what I mean, <clears throat> whether it be tennis I don't care if it's ten well tennis you don't really jump or whatever but. Mm -hmm. But Just definitely basketball, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you get yeah. those quick tw twitch muscles, you know, going. Yeah. Then eventually, you know, once they mature and they're able to handle, you know, the impact of jumping all the time, mm -hmm. definitely, like, if, if you're in middle school or freshman or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. You go through, you know, a JV or whatever, freshman team or whatever, then you eventually grow, mature, and then get more experience and then eventually get into uh, uh, varsity. But, yeah, I... Um, there's definitely programs here. There definitely club teams here. You know, um, club teams. Man, my son is playing. You know, like I said, club basketball, club uh, 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 volleyball. It's definitely there. It's not. There's no excuse. I'm not. I'm not gonna say. Yeah, you just gotta. You, yeah. you really gotta invest. And in, uh, but um, it, it's definitely there. At least for Wisconsin, is there. Yeah. Um, but um, definitely, if if. Even even if it's even if it's football, mm -hmm. football, you, you know. But the thing is, here is the football and volleyball are played played the same uh, season, so that's why it's kind of hard to to if you put your son in football, it's kind of give up. It's kind of hard to give up football to have them play volleyball. Right. You know what I mean? Because they, I don't think they're gonna give, give up football. <laughs> you know what I mean? To right. to come play volleyball. So yeah, but so, definitely bat basketball and, and volleyball. Yeah. yeah. So, so Meng Shong, um, he posted a, a comment saying that it takes parental and financial support, which most, most athletes don't have. So, I mean, the thing too is, is like, you know, like, like right now with, you know, you know, Sunisa, she's been in the news, you know, like she's made like our community so proud, you know what I mean? Shout and, out, shout out to Sunisa, man. Yeah. And we got to get her on like, too. Yeah. I remember her dad and her mom going to the park you know, and we were, we were we were playing volleyball at the park, you know, together. And like I remember her being little and doing cartwheels and flips on the side. You know what I mean? And and when she started, you know, and she was, you know, this was probably when she just started into gymnastics and stuff like that. She was a natural. But the thing is, is like they put her in there. The parents put her in there. You know, and you know, there's probably like some neighborhood community ed that they put her in, and she started getting real good. And the parents was like, oh man, she's really good. You know. And then they started, you know, putting a little bit of money in it, putting a little bit of money in it. But sure. the thing is, is when she got real serious, she got the community behind her. They were right. out there doing fundraisers. You know, they, you know, they came out to the park. They're like, hey, Rob, man, my daughter's real good. Mm -hmm. They're, uh, they're moving her. They want to send her to Iowa, mm -hmm. you know, to practice at their facility, you know, but, but gymnastics is way more expensive than volleyball, you know, and, and yeah. she was, 
They're like, yeah, the, the leotards or whatever it's called, the outfits, they're like three to $500 each. Every tournament, every meet, it's a new thing. So it's just like, don't use that as an excuse, you know? Because the thing is, is like, you know, what we can learn from Sunisa and her, her family's story is that like, hey, you know, if, if, if you got a dream out there, you know, you can do fundraisers, you can ask for donations. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, there's a lot of things you can do. You know what I mean? And, and this is like, we can't, we got to stop using that excuse. Yeah. You know what there, I mean? If, if there's a will, there's a way, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. And, 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 and like you said, you know, uh, that's definitely a, a good learning lesson. You know what I mean? But sure. yeah, it, it's not an excuse. Yeah. It's a roadblock. I, I would say it's a roadblock, you know, that, that most, uh, most punk people go through, yeah. but, uh, like, like I, I don't, I'm not, I don't make the, you know, the most in the world, but I, you know, my son still wants to play basketball and volleyball club, you know, AU, whatever. I still put them through it. So, it, you know, you just find a way, you know, I mean, if they want to do it, find a way to do it. You know, Dude, the thing is, is like, man, like that, that kind of frustrates me, you know what I mean? Cause the thing is, is like, do like, you know, we're Hmong people. I mean, like our history, like, leaving our country and coming here and making an American dream. Like what's harder than that? You yeah. Know what I'm it's yeah. like, dude, we've, we've been through all these obstacles. We've been through all this stuff. You know, now we got a Olympian gold Olympian. It's like, dude, we overcame all that stuff. It's like, dude, we got to stop using excuses. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. promote, you know, promote our kids, promote our youth, get behind it. Mm-hmm. Get, you know, if we got to, like, let's get our community involved. You know what I mean? Like, my wife is always like, hey, get the community involved. Get the community involved. Like, dude, like, you know, like, Hmong people, they're such a close close niche. And, I, you know, I feel like the older generation, once they see the hey, you know what? It's just not, you know, like, growing up, like, my family is your family, is their family, this and that. It's just like, you know, mm-hmm. growing up, they're like, don't play sports. Mm-hmm. You know? You know, American dream is to either when you get through high school, go work at an assembly job at a factory, support your kids, or mm-hmm. continue with education, become a doctor, be, be educated, you know what I mean? But it was never like, hey, you know, you could play golf and get a, get a, get a, and get a scholarship for college. You know, you could play, you know, big ups to, uh, what's his name, that, that plays D1, D2, or D3 out in, I forgot what his name was, he played with KO, you know what I mean? Like, just guys like that, there's... You know, it, you know, sports can open up so much opportunities for us. You know what I mean? And it's just kind of like, you know, stop using those old excuses. They don't work no more, especially yeah. after Sunisa won that. It's like, dude, like, right. those excuses are dead. You know what I mean? It's just like when all the black people were all pissed off and stuff, saying they're president, you know, they can never have a black president. Okay, you guys got a black president now. You can't use that excuse no more, right? Same with us, man. It's just kind of like... Yeah. You know, stop using excuses. Like, you know, we got to believe in our kids. You know, we got to believe in the youth. It's just like, hey, I'm like, you know, hey, it's probably too late for my son to be, you know, to go play overseas or this and that. But, like, I believe his kids can go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like yeah, his that, kids can go. And, and I, think, I think that's the frustrating part. And, and But that's the thing that uh, that some of our generation don't get is that we are just pioneers and we're not probably we're probably not going to see like the fruit of our labor you know what i mean like as much as i invest in my kids or invest in, as much as you invest in your kids you'll probably eventually never see like the first pro monk player or you know you, you get what i'm saying like like it, it, we're not going to see it but you know but but it's going to matter though right. you know i mean we can't just be like oh well like my situation right now it cannot require me to invest that much into this. Like just if your kid is good at that, or if your kid really wants to do that, let them do it and, mm-hmm. and find a way and let them do it. And if, mm-hmm. even if they don't make it eventually, you know, the knowledge that they gain, the experience that they gain, it's going to, it's going to, you know, show up somewhere, you know what I mean? Somewhere d- down the line, you know what I mean? So, so never give up, man. Never give up passing it on to the next future. Yeah. You know and, what I mean? and, but, and we can kind of transition that too. Is is like, I hear all these young kids are like, where are all the OGs at? Like, how come they're not helping us? You know, <laughs> that's true too. You know what I mean? This is like, 
Where are the OGs? Like, why, you know, talking, why guys... talking shit on cross court conversations. <laughs> like, dude, where are you guys? Where's talking this... shit on cross court conversations, <laughs> man. Dude, was... That's where we at. <laughs> dude, I'm saying all I'm saying is all I'm saying is there's a lot of OG players that have their kids out there, and it's embarrassing watching them play. <laughs> Because hey, I'm don't, like, don't talk I'm about like, yourself like, like that. Like, I'm <laughs> seeing like some players, they're, 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 their parents are legends. Yeah. If, it, if it's like they played women's whatever, whatever, you know, I'm not going to play, I'm not going to name any names because I already got a big target on my back. Do it, my, do it, do it. Oh, like, it's like, look, you got these kids, your, your own kids that, that, that are playing a sport that you're great at. Like, man, take the time and pass that knowledge on to their kids, your kids, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, you know, what frustrates me the most, I mean, what pisses me off the most is, is like, I want to grow the game, you know, not, not like, you know, I told you guys before, not number wise, like, oh, I want so many more people to play, you know, because that's just kind of like a cycle, you know what I mean? And plus there's with fight football, this and that, a lot of our the talented players that would have been super good, they're playing other sports now, you know, but the thing is, is like, when I say grow is like, man, I want the level of play to, to, to elevate. Mm-hmm. You know, because the thing is, is like, it's like me being a kid, like, you know, my parents growing up here first, you know, first generation immigrants and stuff, you know, how would they feel if, if like, I didn't, I have less than they had, right? They came up, they came to the U.S. like with all you guys, you know, same story. They had less than a dollar to their name, right? right, right. Like, how would they, how would it be where they fled, they fought in the war, they came over here and like, started a new life for us and my, my life is worse than theirs that's that's how i i, I see volleyball this is like man like when i left volleyball when i stopped playing it was such in a great place you know there's all these new up-and-coming teams ko you know airborne two all those guys it was it was great and then it's but then the level of play just all, all of a sudden dropped you know and it's just like like i'm i'm like hey ruin the game as in like you know, like elevating the play, you know, and then like yeah. having the players like, you know, like care about the game enough to yeah. train, to lift weights, to do stuff off the court. No, that you know? that's true. That's true what you say because you know, it, like per you know the Hmong volleyball community page, we have a lot of coaches, but um, we definitely got to bring those skills back to our community. Mm-hmm. You know, and invest, like invest on that kid, like, like spend your own time, spend your own time on that kid and, and raise these kids up mm-hmm. and take what you know from, you know, the, the system that, that you're running through mm-hmm. and bring it back with your own free time mm-hmm. and, and invest it on the, these monk kids that have nothing, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? That have nothing to live for or not nothing to live for, but like just have a harder than, than, than most people, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And bring that back. And that, 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 and, and I, I see some people doing it, but you know, I see a lot of people, you know, you know, uh, spitting it out there. Like, yeah, I've been coaches for like 10 years or all these years, but man, like, did you pass it down to one of your home cousins or, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, like, and, and I think that really matters. That really matters when you, when you develop that skill, like the, all respect to whoever have have those many years in coaching, but if you bring it back, bring it back to your community, you know what I mean? Feed feed that knowledge back to your community, and that would be like that would last forever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And like I mean, Fusu made a comment where, you know, I hate that dude though, but Fusu made a good <laughs> comment where where he's like, the, the kids don't listen to the parents, you know. So when you're trying to teach them a game. Like they don't listen to you, and yeah. and that's so true, because the thing is, is like when I was trying to coach my son and stuff, and then when he went to so- Minnesota Select, and he was like, ah, "Dad, you know what? A coach told me to do this and this, and it works out great." And I was like, "I'm like, dude, I've been telling you that forever." You know what <laughs> I mean? But <clears throat> these, these days they're so different. So you gotta you gotta figure out as a parent to like what will make what makes them tick and kind of like. You know, if you got to trick them to, to have them see what, you, what you've been telling them, go ahead and do it. I mean, there's little tricks and stuff. And it's just kind of like, you know, I know kids these days, they're, they're so different from when we grew up, man. It's just kind of like, mm. I feel like, you know, when we were growing up, we didn't have anything, right? And, and I think that kind of killed us because now when we have kids, we want them to have everything. So they don't see how hard things was. 
So it's just kind of like they, they, they take things for granted, you know, and, and now it's just kind of like, you know, it's, it's not like they're soft, but, you know, they, they, they're soft. They're privileged. You know I mean? yeah. <laughs> they're privileged you know, little kids yeah, now. Yeah, so. <laughs> I think kids, I think kids, they have their own, um, they still struggle and stuff, but I think their struggle is just different now. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. uh, it's a different struggle from where you grew up, when I grew up. Um, they still have all the, you know, mental problems or whatever the case may be. It just, mm -hmm. it just looks a lot of different where, you know, right. we're not able to understand them. Right. And I think it's a, it's a cultural thing too, I think, because with them growing up in the U S they're so Americanized now sure. and like, they're like, yeah. dad, you're so damn mean, like this and that, like, but it's like, you know, the Hmong culture, like we like all, cause they're so exposed to like TV shows and being American and this and that, where they're all huggy kissing this and that, you know what I mean? And it's like, <laughs> dude, like my dad never said nothing to me, you know, like my dad never came out to support me. My dad was you know, like you know, among, a lot of Hmong people, they're they're cold. You know what I mean? It's like, they just tell you come whatever. eat. That means they love you, dude. They, yeah, come exactly. eat. they love you. And they do like, hey, the way they <laughs> love you is they feed you, right? Yeah, they're like, hey, yeah. come eat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 the way that they love you is they feed you. Like nowadays, like my yeah. mom will always call me, like, hey, come on, come eat, come eat, come eat. Yeah. And he's like, oh, so that's like her way of saying, hey, I miss you, I love right, you, right, right, like that, right. Yeah. And then like my kids, my, my kids grow up, they're like. My dad cold Man. as hell. This is no, <laughs> no, but so, yeah, th those OGs. I mean, they have a level of trauma that we don't understand too. Right, and right, and, and exactly. then same, same, same as our kids. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the same level of uh, trauma that that uh, they uh, don't understand. And, and and it's our job as parents to kind of you know, elaborate that and kind of articulate that to our kids so they understand when they're young, right. and and <laughs> they can you know kind of like understand you. You know, because. Because the hardest thing is, is like for me, at least for me as a kid, like it took me to kind of like open up to my parents to right. kind of know them more. Whereas like it should be the other way around, you know, when they're the adults, you right. should be able to kind of like open up to your kids and tell your stories to them instead of like the kid. Hey, man, like, like, what did you go through? Like, it should be the other way around. You know? So definitely, you know, as a parent, uh, as we move forward, definitely, you know, we definitely have to, you know. Um, express ourselves a lot, lot better. And don't, mm -hmm. you know, don't hold yourselves back. And mm -hmm. uh, and th those those uh, those war stories that you got, you know, it, it does uh, our uh, our young kids uh, good, man. Yeah. You know, no. it, as corny as it sounds, and and as much as you might cry in the process of telling it, you know, just tell it. You know what I mean? No. So. No. I just. I just want to know how in the hell did we get in this subject, man? When you I talk know, to Rob, man. you can go anywhere. No, it's all about I like, gotta look back. I gotta look back and see how we got here. <laughs> Dude, it, no, it, it, all, it all goes back with helping the, the youth. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Like, oh, somehow, the, somehow, you know? it, somehow <laughs> this tangent is gonna come no, back down it's to that cool. line that we were trying. Rob to. always does that, man. Like, for us to for us to kind of like help them grow. We can't right. teach them or whatever or be hard on them the way that like all these other like they're always complaining. Oh geez, they talk crap to us. This and that, this and that. It's just like yeah, it ain't it ain't gonna work like that. That's how we grew up. Right. You know what I mean? That's how we grew up. Like it worked for me, you, whatever, yeah. our generation. But these younger yeah. kids, like that, don't work. You know, like I said, you know, when I was joking before, like man, you know, I, I was just half joking. We need when we set up tournaments, we need hug stations, man. <laughs> we need hug stations where. Bring it in, bring it in, guys. Come up and give them a hug, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know? you know, like, I don't hear you guys will be there hugging, hugging the players, man. You know? Hey, you know what? Like I was saying in our in our private messages, man, we all needed hugs back then. We just needed it. for real, yeah, for real. Yeah. We'll see next time yeah. I see you, bro, I'm gonna hug you. Man. I told these two brothers already. When I see them next, I'm gonna hug them. I'll pass. I'll all pass. Pass. <laughs> all right, if you're just joining us, we're here with. Our uh, licensed therapist, Rob Yang, and um, he, it just so happened that he plays volleyball too, man. Thanks a lot, Rob. <laughs> so, yeah, man, for real, um, like, hugs, for, hey, but, that's a good idea, man. Start but, charging. I mean, whatever it takes, man, you know what I mean? This is like, right. this is our youth, this is our future, you know, and the thing too is, is like, you know, like, you know, I don't know if you guys saw me, I was on that ABC News uh, story and stuff, but this is like, this is like oh, when that, we go to these festivals. That dumb guy was you. <laughs> <laughs> so when we go to these festivals, back, like what these kids don't know is, is like, man, we were doing this back in Laos. 
this is yeah. this is us. You know what I mean? And like the HVB game is different right. from the US VBA, this and that, because it's our game. Right. You no, know? this is our game. Yeah. You know, so it's just like don't get things twisted and this and that, where it's just a sport, this and that. And like, why why do I get pissed off? Why do other people get pissed yeah. off? Because right. man, guys, this is our game. Like we brought this, this was from Laos. This is where you know, this is, man, this is like our this thing. This is, is this was our pastime where we got together when we yeah. weren't busy farming rice right. and stuff. Volleyball, oh, soccer, yeah. and, 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 and what oh, that yeah. type of, that, yeah, that's yeah, just the football that, stuff. It, it, the football stuff is kind of an American sport where it kind of happened. Right, right. But the, the volleyball and all this kind of <laughs> stuff, it's played at every family picnic, man. Right, you know, right. Every family picnic, there's a volleyball net up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so and it is like, like a culture thing. Yeah, and like a lot of these kids, their parents, they met there, throwing the little yellow tennis ball together, this and that. Yeah. That's how they met and, and did what they did to have you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, man, don't don't take this game for granted, you know what I mean? Because it's our game, you yeah, know? And, and definitely, and that that kind of like goes into like, like this game is our game. It doesn't have to look like the game that we see that's, that's out there, like the Americanized game or whatever, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to look like that. You know, it, as long as we're good with the game that that, that we have, mm -hmm. it's good, man. We don't have to force force it to be like a US, you know, B, B -O -B -A or whatever, it, you know, the initials or whatever. It doesn't have to look like that, you know what I mean? To to be like, you know, legit or, or hip or whatever, you know what I mean? Right. But it, it's a unique game, definitely. I, sure. I agree with that, you know. All right. And then um, if you're just joining us, we're with Rob, three-time J-Force champion, uh, Fresno champ. So, so better you know, better known as Andrew's, Andrew's dad. dad. <laughs> 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 the the long of our balls. <laughs> but um, so let's move on. Let's move on to the final yeah. segment. Uh, Rob. What's your news on the Fresno New Year's, man? I heard some stuff, man. What's going on with that? Why man, don't you I'm, tell uh, the audience uh, what you got scheming? What do you got planned for, for that? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, like, I can't play no more, so the best thing I can do is sponsor a team to okay. go down there, you know, take care of my team's expensive, expensive, whatever. And, mm -hmm. and if, you know, we need to uh, rent out a gym to get ready to this and that, to get ready, you know, I'm looking for – committed players you know i got a, a core of four guys already okay. you know uh we're looking to steal a couple guys from different you know different teams and stuff you and know? this is 2021 right we're talking about this year no we're talking about this year definitely yeah. no so you know i'm in talks with a couple of people mm -hmm. and and we're definitely going to bring a team down there you know and, and just kind of like um you know mm -hmm. we're not we're not going to get swept down there you know I'm, okay I'm, Cali so, so, California, right there. Right? <laughs> Rob is coming, man. Rob uh, is coming. He's working his magic. Right we're now. gonna come down there. We're gonna represent. You know what I mean? And um, okay. you know, we're just gonna do our thing. You know what I mean? And 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 have these kids, you know, whoever's on the squad, like mm -hmm. learn from it, gain experience. You know what I mean? And and we hope to be down there. You know, just not one time, two, three, four times. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, you know, you know, like I was talking to um. My, my dude from uh, Michigan where I'm like, hey, you're the best team in Michigan, but you don't get out of Michigan. Come to the Twin Cities. You know, you come to the Twin Cities in Wisconsin, you know, you're not winning like you are, but, but you need that to grow and win. And, and like, you know, you know, I challenged the Twin Cities. I challenged the Midwest, like, get out to California. Their style plays different. You right. know what I mean? Get out there so you can learn how they play, how you can make adjustments, you know, right. do what you got to do to succeed. You know what I mean? Okay, so hey, you guys heard it here first on Cross Court Conversation this year in Fresno, California. There's going to be a Midwest representation there during the <clears throat> Fresno New Year's, correct? Is that yep. what we heard, right, Rob? Yep. So, Rob is you know, scheming not, right now, not, not, not getting swept, guaranteeing right. he's going to win one game, not a match, <laughs> one game. <laughs> so, hey, but the thing is, is you know, my team's gonna look so clean that even if we lose, we, we're gonna be looking good. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, hey. but seriously, like my guys are up for the challenge. So, yeah. So all your all the Fresno folks, man, Rob's gonna be out there. I don't know if Rob's gonna be out there or not, but the team is definitely gonna no, be I'll, out. I'm there. gonna be out there. I'm, I'm okay. their number one fan, man. So I gotta there be out go. there. You know, I mean, okay. like I'm like, hey. 
I'm like, man, I need to start lifting weights and training so I can just yeah. carry the water bottles and stuff for these guys. You know I mean? <laughs> so it's like, I'm the number one fan and I'm the equipment manager. I'm the water boy. I, I'll right. be whatever I got to be to, to, right. uh, to support these guys. Man, we, hey, we can't wait to see that, man. Cross um, court. Holy cow. We cannot wait you, to see that. It's, it, it's, uh, I don't know. Right. I think the last thing that was out there was probably KO, I believe. Uh, that was probably out there. And that was probably yeah. years back. Yeah. So, man, yeah. Oh, well, awesome. MDY, MDY and Caliber, I think they went. Oh, down okay. The, yeah, yeah. Recently, right? Yeah. yeah, the, yeah I think uh, yeah. it was Fresno, right? I think so. And, and then the thing too is like for the teams, the Twin City teams that that want to go down there, it ain't that expensive. But like the thing is, if your team needs money, like there's a bunch of different sponsors, like Hmong businesses that out there that will give you guys money and sponsor That's you right. guys and, and help you guys with the fees. You know what I mean? It's, it's like sure. you got to open your like, you know, you, you know, you have to like open things up. You know what I mean? If you right. can't do it. There's a lot of OG players that love volleyball like me and this and that, and they'll, yeah. they'll give you guys money and help you guys out. They won't pay for the whole trip, but they'll give you money here. They give you money there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know, like, like with MDY, they, they did such a great job. They had a fundraiser. They had a party and stuff to help them, you know, and it's like, you just got to be innovative. You know what I mean? Because, because these, you know, these are like great, you know, experiences that like, I, I wish sure, everybody man. would have, you know what I mean? And it's just like, sure. You know, it'll, it'll open your eyes up way more, you know, and, and you'll, 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 you'll just see way more things, you know, and just, you know, I, you know, I challenge all the, the younger guys that, man, like, you know, take that leap. You know, if you got to work overtime for a few months, do it. It's, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. You know, most of all, you'll, 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 you'll see, you'll see and make new friends. You know what yeah. I mean? That's for sure, man. You, you know, for your young folks at home who may feel like you don't have any money to do anything. Rob hit it around the nail, man. There's a lot of successful people out there who are willing to take a chance on you because you're young and because you have potential. And all you have to nice, do though. is go and present to them professionally and in a respectful manner what your plan is. They right. will ask you a question Just... and all you have to do is network. The mm -hmm. first guy may say no, but the second lady may say yes. You know, every dime counts. So all you have to do is ask. There's many businesses out there that are willing to take a chance on the young people. So for all your young folks out there uh, listening, you know, there's there's always a way. And there's people like Rob who are willing to take the chance on the youth because they're so passionate about the youth. And that's why Rob posted that comment on Facebook, which kind of set everything on fire. You had like 122 comments, 335 likes, hate or, or whatever all that kind of stuff is. Someone passionate like Rob, definitely mm -hmm. ask. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing too is, is like, look, look at Wasa, look at how many sponsorships that they got, you know I mean, for the Wasa tournament. It is just not among businesses or among, among people. You, you can, you, you just gotta understand that among people with Sunisa right now, we, we're hitting the mainstream. You know, right. people know that, you know, we're working people. We have, we have a discretionary income, you know? Right. So they're, now they're, they're looking at us. They're, they're like, Hey, how can we market to these guys? We want them as customers. You right. know what I mean? And, and that's how you got to go and approach, you know, these businesses do it professionally. Be like, look, you know, this is what we do. This is the Hmong people, mm -hmm. you know? And like, Hey, if you sponsor us, it's going to promote your, it's going to promote your company. It's going to show that you support the Hmong people. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, just be real professional about it. And like, hey, if you got to get, get help on how to like, you know, get your sponsorship right. uh, paperwork together, you know, do the hard work and get it done. Google it. Everything's on Google. Google it. And the people mm -hmm. that say it's too much, the right. people that's, you know, the people that complain like, hey, entry fees too much, this and that. That you guys drink way more beer at the bars. You to right. way more. Oh, hey, hey, man, that's necessary. Okay, <laughs> beer is necessary. More, you know? <laughs> Stop drinking beer for, for a week. And you guys got you guys got two tickets to Fresno, mm -hmm. right? Sure, hey, man, it might just be one night, dude. Exactly. One, just take yeah, a weekend. The way, the way, the way the Wisconsin people are, man, that's yeah, just no, a that's, hours. That's a lot to sacrifice. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Good try, though. Good try. Good try, man. Oh, no, that's but, uh, uh, I like. Yeah, I like. I'll, you know, definitely, man. You hit us some great points right there, man. Just you know, save up your money. There's, 
you know, people paying that registration fee, you don't necessarily, the money doesn't necessarily have to come out of your pocket. You can also yeah. get sponsorship for that exactly. as well, too. So exactly. I mean, there's many ways to do it. You know, I mean, shoot. Um, before we uh, close out here, uh, Rob, are you, uh, are you willing to kind of go over what kind of like your plan for uh, yeah. you know, like yeah. what we were discussing? You no. Know, so like, you know, if I posted in the past and stuff that we were, we wanted to build a gym, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, it, and it's something that me and my wife are passionate about. It's just not uh, a Rob thing. This is like me working with my wife. Um, you know, we want to build, you know, we want to build a gym, you know, we want, you know, we're going to have merch that we're selling, um, called HVA, not HVB, HVA for Hmong Volleyball Association. Um, you know, we're going to be selling merch to support, you know, the Hmong, uh, community, the Hmong volleyball teams, you know, cause that's where our focus is going to be. Um, you know, we have a, a spot in mind, uh, that we're looking to build a gym, you know, to, uh, to have a training facility for, for the kids. Uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna uh, have our own club teams there, uh, you know, for the youth, uh, you know, to just kind of like uh, have them start early. You know, th this is this is definitely gonna be open for everybody, but uh, we want it to we want to focus on the Hmong. You know, mm -hmm. we definitely want to focus on the Hmong kids. You know, because that's who we are. Um, you know, we never want to uh, you know lose focus of that. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to do the clubs and stuff. It's going to be open to anybody because that's ultimately, that's going to support, you know, that's going to fund uh, and that's, you know, that's going to pay for all the stuff that we want to do, you know, and hopefully, you know, we'll, we want to do a, um, you know, we, we want to do like, you know, a Hmong start off with a Hmong league. And then ultimately we want to be like, you know, like the NFL, we want to be like the NBA, you know, we want, I want to ultimately have, Hmong team owners, you know, for the Hmong Volleyball Associations, you know, have your own, uh, have your own club and stuff. We'll have, uh, you know, we'll throw tournaments. Um, you know, it'll be open for the other Hmong teams to come. But hey, if you're part of the one of the teams in the uh, whatever, we'll we'll get you ranked and stuff, playing these different tournaments. And at the end of the year, it'll be like, you know, if you guys are into golf, like the FedEx Cup, where you know, it'll be a tournament that everybody plays, but like the ones, the ones that are in the league, they'll be ranked and stuff like that. Um, you know, I want to, I, I ultimately being a player, what I, I ultimately want to do is get, get it so the pair, the players get paid, mm. you know, like, you know, every tournament that I go to, I tell them like, you know, like Wasa, right. I don't need a thousand dollars to Wasa for the prize money, you know, mm. 500 you know, 500 to women's, 500 to men's, you know? And I'm like, dude, these, these players, they be putting their time, they sweat. They come to these tournaments and they're the ones that are drawing people, you know? Right. They're the ones where their relatives are coming to watch them play. You know, they're the ones that are, are good enough where they're coming to watch, you know, these, these, um, these rising stars like my son, you know what I mean? And, and like, I feel like they need to get paid, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So that's kind of what I'm working for. Like, hey, it might not be, it's not going to be like, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not going to be like the NBA or this and that where they're, they're getting massive amount of money, but it's just kind of like, Hey, this, here's something where it rewards you for your hard work, you mm -hmm. know? And then like throwing different tournaments, whatever, like I want to be able to, you know, split the profits with all the team owners, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, 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 and make it where it's a legit business, but at the same time doing this, my goal was to elevate the play, the play of, you know, Hmong volleyball, right? And that's that's always been my dream. Um, you know, the game's given a lot to me. You know, like you know, like during the time growing up, you know, a lot of my friends were gang banging, drug dealing, this and that, and like playing volleyball. That 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 kept me away from all that. You know what I mean? So you know, the game means a lot to me. You know, and you know, you know, it just it it just means so much to me. And I feel like you know, this is my dream. This is how I want to give back. Mm -hmm. you know and it might be well, a big dream it might not happen whatever you know i, I talked to hobo about it you know and, and you know he he carries a lot of weight in the community like mm -hmm. with me i'm kind of older mm -hmm. you know so it's just like a lot of the young kids don't know me right. but then, you know with hova I, I think like uh you know i want to talk to hova more partner up with hova more i'll mm -hmm. uh, talk to other uh you know people that have you know um you know, know the heartbeat of the Hmong volleyball and what's right. going on and what we need to do, you know, and, mm -hmm. and hopefully, 
you know, three to five years from now, like, you know, cross, you know, cross court conversation can go with us. Mm-hmm. And it, you guys could be like ESPN, you know what I mean? Right. You guys can be haters like Stephen A. Smith. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so, I mean, I, I got things, things like, No, but. Things more like Skip Bayless, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, I need Bear to operate at this level. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you, no. You're going to provide me with IPA yeah. beer. <laughs> yeah. Well, well definitely, you Rob, you, you have some, you know, great passion for the game and it only shows in what you just shared right now you're willing to hey, put your hey, neck out there I, yeah i'll say this man <clears throat> rob is not the bad guy here he's the good guy please guys <laughs> please like i want this exactly. on my back man like, i want to be hey, i want to be able to walk around fresno like guys like, i want to be able to walk around fresno and be like you know, be like please guys <laughs> He's not oh, the Rob, bad guy. <laughs> Rob is all love, and we're just making up these titles, man. Just mess around. <laughs> you know, but, but, but man, it's like you know, like us three, like we could talk about this for hours. Like, yeah, I go and, definitely. It's like, man, we we love volleyball so much. You know what I mean? And like, there's so many war stories. And like, my wife, she hates it when we go. Yeah. I go to a party, and like my volleyball guys there, and we just talk and talk and talk. Yeah. And it's just like, whatever. But it's just like, you know, yeah, like. It's, you know, the kids, you know, the youth, that's our future. So we're only going to go as far as, as they go and, and we need to invest in them. Right. And also like, if, if the kids are sorry nowadays, it's because of people like Peng or, or Will, <laughs> you guys are supporting, you guys are supporting the, the volleyball community, you know, but, but you know, honestly, like, yeah, man, like, you know, like, you know, honestly, like outside this, like, I'm a real, real shy guy. Like, I don't know if you guys believe me, but like, <laughs> I, like if I don't really know you, like, mm-hmm. it's hard for me to talk to you because it's just, that's right. just kind of me, honestly. Right. But right. it's just kind of like, you know, but like, I'm watching, you know, I'm watching, mm-hmm. you know, like, like I'm watching Jai that's playing for Caliber. I'm watching Meng Outlaws. I'm watching Elijah, you know, that plays for Caliber. You know, I'm watching Chai Fly playing with Cree. You know, I got all, you know, I'm like, I'm watching these guys. They got so much talent. You know what I mean? Like, if I don't go up to you and, like, shake your hand or this and that, you know, don't, don't take offense, but, like, I'm watching you guys. You know what I mean? I'm watching the mullet dude from, from, from California. Like, man, I'm like, man, that dude is good. You know, I'm watching, like, I'm watching all these teams play. You know, out in Wausau, you know, I'm watching, you know, I'm trying to take all this in, and I'm like, man, like, it's like, you know, you know, you guys got to take the baton that we're passing to you guys. Don't drop it. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Because we're ultimately passing it to you guys. And, mm-hmm. and, and like, if, and you know, like Midwest, honestly, like it breaks my heart that we're not playing at the level that I, the thing is, is I know it's like having a child, you know what he's capable of, but he lets you down. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just right. like, man, I know, I know what you guys are capable of. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's definitely, you know, uh, you know, that whereas like, um, or as if, like, if somebody's saying, you know, the OGs are not helping, I think it's definitely there, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, it, it's, like I say, man, it's, it, it, kids nowadays got to search internally, man. Like, like, stop searching externally. Like, hey, uh, I need help from here. I need help from you, 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 you. Like, it's got to come from internal first, you know what I mean? And then the external help will, will eventually be there, you know. But, but if you don't even really have it internally for you to go and, and bust your ass and and wake up sore by yourself, then no one's going to be able to help you. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that that's where it, it ultimately uh, uh, comes down to, you know, what I mean? so, in, in my opinion, at least. Sure. But, but. Like I said, man, this guy right here, he's not the bad guy, man. He's, he's out here, you know, tr- trying to make it better, you know. Sure, man. man, I need a it's- virtual hug. I need a virtual hug, man, when, when we end this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. That's the thing, because, uh, because, <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> we just want to, <clears throat> like you kind of said, like you kind of said, you kind of knowledge, especially yeah. your and your generosity, too, yeah. man. That's not said enough, uh, the stuff that you do behind the scene. Yeah. Uh, Especially your passion, man. Your passion is it's unmatched, you know. So you're always out there voicing your opinion because you care so much. You know, back in the days when when uh, 
they always say when your parents or whoever don't yell or don't talk to you anymore, that means they don't give a shit yeah. about you. Man. They whoop you because they love you, man. It hurts them more than it hurts you. <laughs> so the reason why Rob is still in the game and talking is because he's very passionate about it. And he's been there, done that. As you can see, you mentioned a couple of times about his credentials. He's been there, done that. So The greatest good player ever, man. Yeah, all good players. You list all good players. He's the greatest, right there. He's out there. Oh, so, so one last thing is, is like, uh, so I'll be starting. You know, I'll have my own website up selling merch. You know, yeah. it'll be. You know, you know, we're we'll, we'll be selling hats, socks, shorts. You know, t-shirts. We're gonna have a, a we're gonna have a legends category where you guys can buy like airborne. You know, because this is like, you know, like back in the day, this is a retro t-shirt. I want to reach out to MDY. You know, get some other retro retro sure. designs. Reach out to Legend mm -hmm. from California. Get some other retro design designs and like use it to fund what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Yes. Help help the youth. You know, like you know, once this is up and going, like mm -hmm. you know, to sponsors as many different teams as I can. Sure, um, you know what I mean? And just kind of like do throwbacks like that where they're like, hey, that dude's wearing yeah. a, a Legends T-shirt. That's dope as hell. Like yeah. I remember when I was a little kid, I, I watched some dude that was that could fly wearing the same exact t-shirt you know what i mean and like i want to i want to you know i want to get i want to get behind this and i want to yeah. push it you know what i mean and, and yeah, like it, it, it's crazy because for the most part you know uh for the audience that are listening for the most part rob is like out here like with his own dollar and he's like just pouring it out right now you know what i mean so we we definitely you know guys like rob we definitely need to you know get behind him and and uh definitely uh you know give him uh, the push that he needs for sure. you know I mean? and you can pound a cross-court conversation in too man um, you know yeah. use this platform uh you know we, we're doing what you're doing man we're passionate about this game and we're just trying to push it forward and we're just this game is more than just a game it's our culture so that's how painting i'm just i'm uh, just here for the bear dude <laughs> <laughs> i'm just here for the hug man it's <laughs> <hug, bro. laughs> my one reason to drink beer man <laughs> right. you right. know paying you know right right off the bat when you posted that i think that was the, just the day after ping was like and we were talking we we're like then should we get rob on right away because he's kind of you know <laughs> Ping was like man we gotta give this dude a couple but days of cool <laughs> oh man but but like honestly like it was such a good feeling being wasa man like watching yeah. students play you know what i mean it's just this kind of like dang like i miss that you know what i mean i miss the camaraderie i miss mm -hmm. like hugging my teammates going to huddles like stuff like that man like these young kids they i mean appreciate that you know because when you're out of it you're gonna miss it you know what i mean right. like you know appreciate your friends the people that that help Taught, teach you, you know, like just take all that in because, like, when you get old, you know, like me and like these other dudes, like, man, you're gonna miss it, and and it's yeah. just kind of like, you know, it's 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 uh, man, it's 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 just yeah. a good feeling, and, you know. And and a lot of things, you know, if you don't know the history, then you kind of, you know, don't kind of learn how to appreciate it, you know what I mean? So the more, the more we can get, you know, your guys' story out there, you know, all the OGs in our game, you know, the better. The better, you know, if, if you know, if any young guys are listening, you know, the more they, they can appreciate the game, the more, the more they know, you know, the sacrifices that you guys have taken and and what where you guys came from, you know, all that stuff, you know what I mean? So, right. so definitely, we greatly appreciate you coming out here, you know, uh, uh, ranting and all that, you know. <laughs> hey we're just like hey like we always said man we're just a bunch of dudes talking about a game that our parents told us not to play man and then you know it's a way of life you know? i mean if you guys want to message me that whoever's watching and like talk volleyball you know totally welcome to hit me up on private message but you might regret it because i man i have so much stuff that i want to talk about you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let me check some of the questions. Yeah, yeah check. You can check the questions. Bully asks. Bully Christie asks, "When can we expect merch from HVA?" Man, I, I already got the merch out. Um, okay. I mean, I, I gave um, Hova. Mm -hmm. You know, I gave Hova like a T-shirt and a uh, shirt. You know, um, like Cloud Nine their jersey has my logo on it. I hope I sponsored uh, them a little bit. You know, with uh, printing up their jerseys and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I saw I, the design, know, man. It looks, it looks pretty dope, dude. Yeah. So, like, if you guys know I like the, the color uh, scheme. Yep. Yeah. So, so it's a total throwback 
to mm-hmm. like, hey, the Hmong people, the colorways, you know, yeah. that, that's who we are. I used my, uh, my son's silhouette, you know, like, the, have you guys seen the NBA player where they got Jerry West as a silhouette? Mm-hmm. You know, I, you know, I, you know, I use my son's silhouette for it. Um, you know, we got a couple of logos. We're gonna do socks, shorts. You know, ultimately, you know, whole, I, I want it to be where, hey, you know, next time you guys do a jersey, you know, mm-hmm. you know, let's do a HVA jersey with, with my logo on it. I'll help you guys out. Okay. You know, and it just is, you know, I just like want to grow it like that, and and you know, just just kind of give back, and you know, and it ain't gonna be no lame stuff neither. It's actually be gonna be cool. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm the I'm one of the oldest monk people that are rock, rocking Jordan ones all day, Supreme this and that. So like, hey, you know, I'm, on top I'm, cool, of like, I'm cool like the young kids too. You know what I mean? He, he even that. got skinny jeans, skinny jeans, and everything. Man. <laughs> Please don't wear skinny jeans. Save that for something else, man. <laughs> but uh, let's see what else we got here. We got a couple people who are interested in the merch for real already. So that's awesome. Yes, support Rob. I saw some of his design. Man, I love the color scheme. Gonna have to pick some up too, man. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm wearing one of the. See yeah. right there. I'm wearing one of the hats right there. Yeah, yep. still. You know what I mean? Imagine, and then he has it on the shirt where it's in the front. I, I believe it was the front or the back, and it's okay. kind of large, so yeah. it looks pretty nice. Um, we have Fusu here. Tao said it from Critical. He said we should connect. Okay. Well, Rob, he's reaching Definitely. out. He said, he, he, he I should connect. Uh, Chua, okay. He said you were quiet when you got to Michigan. Oh. I think he talked to you. He said you oh. were kind of quiet. Oh. Uh, Fusu Hang sending virtual <laughs> hugs. He said the next time he sees you, he's going to give you a big bear hug. So watch out for that, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, see. And then, yeah, the, People just out here giving you hugs. They think you need hugs. I don't think Rob needs hugs. He's willing to give it. No, no, I need hugs. I need hugs. Y'all better run. <laughs> I need hugs. Rob Rob's is a man. giver, y'all, not not a taker, man. Yeah, yeah. No, man, I, I love I love the players and stuff. Like I'm always out at as, as many tournaments as I can to support you guys. You know, just, not just supporting my son. Like, you know, I'm out there. I remember seeing Will like you know, the local celebrity at Awasa, you know, I came up and said, what's up? I had to say what's up. I mean, uh, but this is like, like I said, I'm watching everybody yeah. play. You know, I'm watching the young talent. I'm watching the old guys that are still trying to play like a poo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Still out there killing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, Fusu's trying to do his thing out there. You know, he was out there like, I was supposed to play with those dudes, but I told him I, I got hurt just warming up. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then, and then I started the, the KO the KO game was so long I, I started cramping just watching them. So like, man, you, you guys gotta play without me, man. Well, there, there's a sign right there, man. Don't, don't. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, for real, it was refreshing to see some yeah. of the veterans. Yeah, Not even the veterans, yeah. these are legends. These yeah. are the legends yeah. that actually yeah. were out there. Um yeah. these are some of the guys that you actually that we talked about on this channel, cross court conversation. Yeah. They were out there representing. Yeah. So um, uh, I, I, I like to thank everyone for showing uh, uh, Will, Love, Rob, and, and my sister, Love, you know, uh, kind of just coming up to them, um, you know, for them representing Cross Court. I'm, I'm not very, <clears throat> just like Rob, I'm very introverted, so, like, if I don't have a lot bearing me, don't don't post me, please. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'll be like, man, you dude. You asking for autographs, man. Like, I'm, stop, I'm gonna, stop asking for autographs, man. I know people ain't going to ask for autographs, but... You know the the people that know me, I'm already like very awkward yeah. outside of outside of two three beers. So. <laughs> this dude, hey, he had to like do 20, 30 push ups just to get on this show. Man, he got to get pumped up. All right, let's go. <laughs> two, yeah. At least need to chug at least a beer. Yeah. Man. <laughs> like I, I had to take a power nap before I got on this. I'm not, I knew this was gonna take so much out of me. I was like, I was like. In my head, I was like, "Oh man, what should I say? I don't want, I don't want Cali to shoot me up, man. I don't want to shoot me up. You know, but, but no, yeah, it, it it's like, kind of it's kind of refreshing to see that you know everybody kind of recognized Will and, and my sister, you know, because for me that that's kind of in in the the, the kind of just doing all these uh, episodes and whatnot. It's nothing big to me. It's just me having a couple beers and just right. rambling off. You know what I mean?" I'm not very articulate and, you know, naturally. So like, it's just, you know, I, I, but 
like I said, you know, with this platform, whatever, how you guys see it, hit us up, use us. You know, if you guys think that we, you don't touch a lot of people, come on, you have a message, come on and just, just, you know, uh, spit it out. Um, yes. And you know what? And, and let me say one more thing as well too. And that's the most important thing is your story, your message, because just think about it. If you're kind of shy, you don't want to share your story. Just think about all the people that you can inspire with your story. So it's good that you're, you know, that a lot of our legends are out here telling this story because you'll never know who's listening and who can get inspired by it. So I, we, Peng and myself, we highly encourage um, you guys to come on our channel and tell your story because look, you, you can be inspiring someone for real. Like some nine, 10 year old could listen to your uh, podcast and they'd be like, wow, you know, I'm going through the same thing they're going through or I went through the same thing they went through. So they can relate to it and get inspired by it. So just think about that. Um, I, and then, I honestly, I honestly thought we were going to inspire like other people to kind of create their own podcast that are more yeah. like extroverted. So I could not do this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. hopefully yeah. somebody else can come up with their own. Yes. And so I don't have to do this. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> it definitely Thanks, help man. if you're better looking than these two guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> yes. It takes a lot of work to look this ugly, man. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I took two hours to put on my face. What you talking about, dude? <laughs> Well, for sure. Now, now, man, like Come you guys on, you guys are gonna be. It's, you guys are an inspiration to the Hmong volleyball community. You know, me being out there. Look, whatever I, you know, however I interview you guys, if I didn't do it to, you know, the best, you know, I apologize. We would do better next time. Okay, but for real, your story is what matters. Peng and myself, we just use the platform to um, share your story. If it wasn't for all of you, we we wouldn't have a cross court conversation. Just think about that. So. And then one thing too about my my brand coming out HVA, you know, my model for that brand is making legends. And, and and like, I feel like when I'm out there watching you guys play, I know like, I can be like, when you guys become the legend status, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I watched that dude play. I was you know, there, yeah. 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 I, I, I hugged him at the hug time. You know, <laughs> you know? but real fact though, it's just like, you know, my whole thing is is like to help you guys become legends. You know, yes. that, that's the, that's gonna be the that's my model is making yes. legends. You know, Hmong volleyball. Yeah, for sure. And then I cannot say this enough. Please come on, share your story. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, a legend in the females game or the men's game. Your yeah. story is very very important and it can inspire someone. One of my nephew who was watching Allen play just this past weekend, he said, that's, that's my new favorite player. Mm-hmm. You no, know, he's like six. He just graduated high school. He said, that's my new favorite player. And he just saw Allen play. So he automatically, he got inspired already. So yeah. just think about just the impact uh, you guys make when you, you know, sometimes we think of ourselves, well, we're just playing volleyball. But mm-hmm. then again, you know, sports is a metaphor for life. They see how you approach the game. They like your style, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, you know, just think about that. Right, definitely. Yer said, we need someone to cover the women's volleyball game. Yer, you're hired, man. Yes, you're hired. You called it. For real, she asked for you it. are hired, my dear. Who's that? This yeah, is my favorite, wife, my favorite. I mean. Oh, yes. Yeah. You're hired. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite women's monk team is Pounders, you know, they're yeah, legends, way back. way back, Pounders. Yes. No? So, for so sure, to, man. Just, just to kind of speak on yours part, like I, I definitely love the, the, love the women's games because my sister-in-law was, you know, always playing and, and I used to always support her and watch her in every game. So I would always watch, you know what I mean? Um, but definitely it, because, you know, I work weekends, so I can't, I can't be there. Uh, but definitely, uh, uh, we definitely need someone to uh, designate it for it. And Yer is our volunteer. Yer, congratulations <laughs> on your new position covering women's volleyball for cross court conversation. Yes. And, and we want to promote the women's game so yes, much. Yes, of course, of course. You, know, you, you guys are an inspiration too, yeah. and your story needs yeah. to be told as well too that's that's what cross core is all about we're not out well, here trying to interrogate you or whatever I mean, we're out here trying to get you out here to inspire whoever's watching you or whoever's looking up to you so that's what we're a all big, big shout out to dead presidents <coughs> you guys did yes. this in wasa yeah. 
you know. Yeah. So we ain't forgot about we ain't forget about you guys. Yeah, sure. we gotta we gotta get them on too, and yeah. then uh, eventually, uh, hopefully, Yur and Yelang will come on. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, definitely. Awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. And then, hey, one more thing. Don't forget, Monday, uh, I believe, 8.30, we're going to interview Cool from MDY. I just post up a video. It's ba we're that video is basically we're, a highlight. We're going to de definitely, <laughs> definitely ask Cool, man, was Rob really that good, man? Come on, man. Seriously, though. No. going to be like, nah, no, but, man, that dude is trash, cool, bro. <laughs> cool actually got me into volleyball because I was hooping at that time and stuff. My brother was playing volleyball. I see this little guy. Mm -hmm. Just like jump to the moon. I'm like, damn. Yeah. And there I was like, who's that? They're like, you don't know him. He's Grasshopper. That's his that <laughs> nickname, Grasshopper. I was like, damn. Yeah. Like, I, honestly, like when people are watching Alan play, Alan's yeah. like helping these kids start their career. Like, cool. Yeah. Big impact on me. Like watching him, you know, mm -hmm. watching him jump and like him hitting on white guys and stuff like that. And they yeah. couldn't touch him. I was like, damn, dude. Like that. Not even my brother. I was like, I don't care if he plays or not. Like, he's cool. <laughs> cool, you know? Yeah. So, no, honestly, like, who made a big impact in my life, yeah, man? See, volleyball. Yeah. Like, definitely. Sure, when, definitely. When I tell stories about him, like I tell these young boys, man, I'm underselling him, dude. Oh, yeah. He was a lot more amazing than I'm explaining it to you. <laughs> you know? that, hey, that video we posted, I think they played, I think that was a Michigan team. Mm -hmm. Man, that was like a highlight reel right there. I was like, okay, I'm going to see. Man, like, I was just... This guy was like jumping out of the gym, yeah. and he's like, he's barely five feet tall, man. So I, I think I, I think he's four twelve. Four twelve. Four twelve. About four twelve. That's four twelve. But you know, like they say, man, heart over height, man, heart <laughs> over yeah. height. That's that's how he rolled. So definitely, um, yeah. for sure, man. So our message. Come on on here, inspire people. Yeah. That's all. Tell yeah. the story, inspire people. Oh. You need to cover the women's game more. So that's for sure. This is true. No, it's a true statement, uh, definitely. And uh, with our new uh, correspondent year, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll eventually, uh, we'll eventually do that. <laughs> hey, but you guys need to stop making me the bad guy. Yes. Okay. You guys are putting my life at stake, man. You guys are putting my life at stake. Uh, Rob is not the bad guy. California. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all our California friends, viewers, vibe is not a, the bad my, guy. Man. My family be cheating me up. My aunts, my uncles be like, "Can you be saying this?" He may be a bad mind? guy, but he's, he's not a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's right. been great, uh, Rob. We need, we definitely need uh, to get you back on and talk some more smack about Kelly. <laughs> you know, we know you hate him. Um, <laughs> You gotta hate but, uh, them to motivate yourself, man. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, it's been dope. Um, uh, Rob, thanks um, uh, to, to all, all of viewers. Thanks also. All viewers. Uh, Thank you, all our and, wonderful fans. And thanks you know, for your uh, stepping up and volunteering. Thank you, Yer. We appreciate time. it. Yeah. Hopefully, you think understands that you're going to be busy during yeah. the weekends <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. no. no, but thank you. Hey. It's all about it, inspiring. That's what we're all about. Yeah. So let's all do right. it. Thank so you, there Rob. you have it. Episode 27, Rob's big rant. He wanted <laughs> a rant, so we gave him a platform to rant. So he said a lot more during our private messages. But was, He's going to be good for two months, guys. He's going to be good for two months. <laughs> that stuff was really hard, man. <laughs> That's for nobody's eyes. <laughs> for sure, brother. All right, man. All right. Then you Rob, and, uh, Rob, uh, I mean, uh, Andrew's dad. Andrew, thanks. Uh, uh, we'll catch you guys later on the next episode. Hey, you know man. what's funny? What's up? Like, you know, Andrew was born on the same day as me. So we got the same mm -hmm. birthday. So as, as soon as he was born, I didn't have a birthday That's no it. more. That's it. Take a back seat. Take a back seat, bro. <laughs>